the earth a big twirling ball made of grass mantle and gore. Our earth is changing all the time. 225 million years ago, there was one supercontinent called Pangaea. It only had one ocean called Panthalassic Ocean. Millions of years passed and it changed into Gondwana and Laurasia. There are three oceans now. Finally, the world changed into seven continents and four oceans. What's happening? The Earth is made up of a dozen big pieces of rock called plates. These plates fit together tightly and are shifting all the time. The plates carry the continents and oceans with them as they move. They are not moving very fast though, about one inch every year. Tectonic plates is the name given to these large moving parts. The plates drift in, drift in different directions. As they drift, they change their shape. They can create earthquakes, volcanoes, or even mountains. How? When two plates cross, they start to go up, which forms mountains and volcanoes. These plates are called converging plates. These plates can be made of different types of rock. Igneous rock, sandstone, limestone, and metamorphic rock. The Indian plate crashed into the Asian plate, creating the Himalayan mountains. Two plates can move apart, like in the middle of the Atlantic Ocean. When they do, molten rock inside the earth forces its way into the ocean and forms new crust, pushing the other crust away on the ocean bottom. When two plates push away from each other, they are called diverging plates. When two plates rub together, it makes friction. The earth rumbles, creating an earthquake. The line that two plates slide against is called a fault. When an earthquake happens, it moves great volumes of water out to sea, which can form a tsunami. A tsunami can wipe out a whole city. When a hard plate and a soft plate collide, the soft plate dies under the hard plate. This is called subduction. Part of the soft plate melts into the earth, causing lava to shoot back up, making volcanoes. The Pacific Ring of Fire is a place where this happened and continues to happen right now. Why is everything moving? The reason everything is moving is the heat from the core travels up and pushes the cooler parts of the mantle down. The cooler parts become heated and the cycle starts all over again. This cycle is called a convection current. It's sort of like a conveyor belt. The Earth is constantly changing, even as you watch this video. We hope you liked our presentation on the Earth systems and that you learned something new.